Hello everybody, how's it going? Today I want to talk about some of the rarest Thunder Pets in the game. I will only include those who are still obtainable, but if you want to learn about some very unique pets that has been removed from the game, let me know in the comments below. Now, when I say rare, what exactly do I mean? I thought about different aspects that makes a pet rare. Once you have the uniqueness of a pet regarding the model, the color scheme, special effects, etc. etc. Then there's also the preparation you need or difficulty of finding them. For example, there are some really cool looking goats in Drustra. They got this classic Drustra glow, looking really cool, so in uniqueness it scores some points. But then again, everyone can simply go there and get it, which makes it not really rare. Now before we start, if you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing to the channel to not miss any videos in the future, that would actually help me a lot. And without further ado, let's get into the list. On number 5 spot we got the Shadow Quarker. This is a simple recolor of a big fox and art wheel you all have seen at some point, but this color variation itself is kinda special. It has a much darker tone, especially with the red eyes, and there's only one NPC that has this appearance and he's actually a challenge to tame. He can spawn at several different locations in Ardenwield, which I will link in the description, and if you get too close to him, he will run away and disappear. Also he's stealth, which makes him much harder to find from a distance, and if you start a fight with him, he will also run away and disappear. When you accidentally got too close and scared him away, he will appear at a different spawn location again, so you have to look for him again. When you start looking for him, you should activate your track hidden ability and when you actually find him, put him into a nice trip before you start taming him. In terms of uniqueness, I would rate him with a 5 out of 10 and for preparation slash difficulty, I give him a 6 out of 10. On number 4 we got the Shadow of Dambala, which is this purpley ghostly cobra. These guys appear during the fight with Nambala during the Art and Wheel Covenant campaign. Usually you ride on a stake while fighting him and have a different set of abilities, but you can also pull him just normally. After a while the boss summons 4 of these adds which you can simply tame. In case you already did the Art and Wheel campaign, you can revisit this quest with the help of a party sync. The fight with Gambala happens during chapter 4 and since you can skip the first two chapters it should be no problem to get there. Due to the ghostly appearance, I rate him with a 7 out of 10 in uniqueness and a 5 out of 10 in preparation. On number 3 we got the ephemeral runner. You all know of the unicorns that got added in Legion, but this one has a special glow on him, making him really stand out. In order to tame him, first you need to unlock the content of Argus on your character. Then you need to do a lot of quests there until you unlock the invasion points. This will take some time. You need to do two out of three chapters on the Argus campaign. Now you have to be lucky that the invasion point Bonnage is active. I probably totally butchered this name. The invasion points swap around from time to time and you can see how much time is left on your map. As soon as you have access to the white portal, go through it and on the other side, go behind the portal you came through. Walk on this log on the ground and put a freezing trap right there. Now you have to wait until the runners pass by and if you stand correctly you can tame them. You can only tame them from this log and only if you get them in the right position, since they are walking around out of bounds and you cannot simply go over to them. Nonetheless, once you are there, it shouldn't be too difficult to get one. In terms of uniqueness, I think with a special glow they are on pair with the Shadow of Dambala, so again I give it a 7 out of 10. Regarding the difficulty and preparation, we are definitely at 8 out of 10, but perhaps you already unlocked this back in the day. That would be nice for you. On number 2 we got the Ghostly Red Blighthound, and first of all this guy can only be tamed by Blood Elves. If you want to get your hands on him, you also need to be exalted with Silvermoon, and you need to be able to tame undead beasts. The easiest way to get exalted with Silvermoon is buying the Silvermoon tablet from the vendor at the Flightmaster, equip it, and go to the Mechanin dungeon in Outland. You get a good amount of reputation there. The dungeon is short and after the final boss you can instantly leave the dungeon again, reset it and do it again until you hit exalted. The simple tome of bone binding is required to tame undead beasts. You get this one from killing NPCs in Maldraxxus. After doing this you need to do the Blood of Heritage armor questline which starts in Orgrimmar. If you already did this, don't worry. 
you can do it again with a party sync. At the final part of this quest chain, you get sent into the Sun World, and there you can find these creatures, and you can simply tame them. There are also some special effects to this pet. When you call or dismiss it, it won't just appear or disappear, instead it has this purplish glowy effect that spawns him in. The same thing happens when he dies and you revive him. When you use Bestial Wrath, it will lose this ghostly appearance for the duration of the spell, but after this it will regain it again. In terms of uniqueness, I will give him a 10 out of 10, mostly because of his special effects it has, but also because of the appearance. A ghostly glowing undead creature just is something really cool, and I really like this pet a lot. In terms of preparation, I give it an 8 out of 10. Farming Wrath of Silver is actually really easy, and most hunters should already have a term of bone binding at this point. Unless you watch this video far in the future. But in that case, you probably one shot everything in Multiraxis and should have no problem farming it. And on number one of the list, we have the Hooded Skeletal Devil Saw. To tame these, you have to be able to tame undeads as well. You also need to be a Beastmaster, since it's an exotic beast. And you have to be a Horde character, because these guys only appear during one single quest which is one of the final quests of the Zandala campaign. Which means you have to do the entirety of Zandala first. That's right, Zulaza, Voldun and Nazmir. And if you missed it, you can revisit it with Party Sync, but you need someone on the exact same quest, which means your friend who's helping you also needs to do the entirety of Zandala. The quest you need is called Bulwark of Torkali, and during this quest you usually jump on Diehorn killing a lot of blood trolls and stuff. Also, when you jump on the Diehorn, you get into another phase, where these devil souls walk around. But when you leave the Diehorn, they are gone again. But there is one little trick to do. You have to position yourself behind this small pillar here. If you click on the Diehorn now, you will get phased, but because the mount was not in line of sight, you don't jump onto him. Now you can go and tame your pet. In terms of uniqueness, I give it a 9 out of 10, because this model is completely unique and there are no other NPCs which look like this, but there are some similar models. Other under Devil's Saw pets with a different appearance. This fact and the fact that he has no cool special effects like the Blighthound are the only reasons I am not giving it a 10 out of 10 rating. In terms of preparation or difficulty, however, it totally deserves a 10 out of 10. You have to complete three different zones and then need to use a trick to get it. Also, you can only be Horde, Beastmaster and need Undead Taming for it. Of course I give it a 10 out of 10. Also, when this quest got added, you were not able to tame Undead creatures yet. Another reason why most people don't even know about this one. It was a tough choice which one gets number 1 and which number 2, but I think the Devil Saw deserved it. Do you agree with me? Do you know other pets that are somewhat rare, that didn't make it on the list? Let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed the video, if that's the case, leave a like, leave a sub. But now go out there and get your pets. I hope to see you next time, and until then, bye!